Good morning, folks. Doug here with Soul Motor Coach in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Behind me is a Cornerstone, absolutely beautiful coach that just came in. I want you to check the website for it, this Allegro bus, this Integra Anthem, that Prevo, and the list continues on and on. But today we're doing a video about the coach that's running in behind me there. I'm so excited about this one. It's a price point coach. I can't wait to dig into it and show you. This is an insignia, folks. I'm gonna to explain to you in this video why I like the insignia, the difference between it, the Aspire, the Anthem, the Cornerstone. And that's the thing about this coach. It's all about the price point. Let's dig into this one. I'm gonna open the slides right now. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna show you everything, the good, the bad. Yes, there's a little bit of ugly. It's a 17 model, folks, with 36,000 miles. It's not gonna be perfect. All right, 2017 Integra Insignia 44B. This is the best luxury coach you can get under 200 grand. I truly believe it. I don't think there's a better luxury coach under 200 grand you could find anywhere with that's going to match the same ride quality with the 450 Cummins side radiator Spartan K2 chassis. Amazing coach. I just got done driving this one. I'm going to take you inside. We got all the slides out. This is a four slide coach again with the 450 Cummins full body paint. They use Sickens paint on this one. Now it's become a little bit cloudy out here by the time I got this video shot, but I want you to check our website at soulmotorcoach.com where I have all a bunch of really, really good pictures. And we're gonna take this one through the process. This one kinda got stuck right before my vacation. I've had it for a couple weeks, but it's new to us. We, we just got done with our second inspection. It turned out really, really great. The roof is in excellent condition. The previous owner just recently, last year, replaced all three roof air conditioners with the new style air conditioner and heat pumps, 15, all three 15K. This has the 12,500 watt uh, own in coming Cummins own in generator look at the front the front and rear caps really are what make this coach so beautiful in 2016 they redesigned the front and rear caps and these are the same caps that you get on the uh, Aspire and Anthem so going down the road it looks just like an Aspire or an Anthem would look and uh, and the cornerstone for that matter you got the beautiful sea lights and when you see an Integra coming down the road you know it's an Integra if you're into class A's and you've been hunting and searching when you see one coming down the road, you know it's an Integra literally from a mile away. Four slides on this one, absolutely beautiful condition. The previous owner took great care of it. Wonderful folks from Texas. Again, thank you all for taking such great care of the coach. Thank you for the opportunity. And again, I'm really excited to get this sold to the next owner. Uh, one difference, one major difference between the, the Insignia and the Aspire for 2017 was the Aspire came with integrated roof awnings. And if you see that little box awning at the top, yes, it is it is mounted to the roof rail, but it only has one awning. It is a armless awning. I'm pretty sure it's made by Gerard, it is. Uh, but on the Aspire, you have integrated roof awnings with the caps that are a little bit higher. So a little bit better look on the Aspire, but a whole lot more money. So if you don't care about that and you wanna be under 200 grand for a 2017 model, luxury integra this is the one for you folks Thirty-six thousand miles on this one absolutely beautiful shape 2022 tires they were put on mid to 2022 i'm sure and somewhere that the paint is in beautiful shape tons of storage in the bays almost forgot i'm going to point out any of the negatives there are a couple little rock chips on the very front of this coach the windshield itself is in absolutely beautiful shape i don't see anything there could be a little tiny rock chip or whatever i don't see anything but there are a couple very, very minor little rock chips to speak of. And folks, I'm being very picky. Well, there you go, folks. Can you really tell the difference between this and an Anthem or a Cornerstone? I'm not sure I can, just looking at the front. Really, the build quality isn't any different. We're gonna explain to you why that is. We're gonna get inside here. I'm gonna explain to you the difference between the Insignia, the Aspire, the Cornerstone, and the Anthem. I happen to have three of those four on hand here at Soul Motor Coach. I'm very familiar with these coaches. I think this is the best value in the industry. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's dig in.
excellent riding and driving coach. I love the fact that they put everything within reach of the driver. Your brake and your gear shift is in, not over on your left, it's in front of you. I like that. Also, the previous owner added this really nice Pioneer stereo. Uh, and let's get here. We can actually put the navigation from the stereo up on the television. So they had, they wanted that, uh, you know, mirror stereo, the navigation unit mirrored to above the television or on the television above. I think that's huge. The huge map shows there. I'm trying to get a picture of that as we go along here. But this coach looks like it's been averaging seven miles to the gallon. I honestly think it can do a little bit better than that if you ask me. Let's check the miles. 33,962 miles. But let's get this baby out on the road. So I want you to hear how quiet an integral coach is going down the road. All right, let's get this out. We got a little bit of a different camera angle here. As we get going here, let's get this coach up to uh, 60 miles an hour. I've got trucks passing me. And you can, I just want you to hear how quiet and smooth. And now, the 17 Insignia is a K2 Spartan chassis with the 450 horsepower Cummins engine, 3000 Allison transmission. I think it's going to have, and don't hold me to this, but I'm pretty sure it's got 15,000 pound towing capacity. It is a driver, folks. These coaches are drivers. This not being completely loaded with options like the Anthem or the Cornerstone is a little bit lighter than what you'd find in, in some of the other luxury line. But I'm going to get deep, dig a little deeper into what the difference is between the Insignia, the Anthem, and the Cornerstone as we go through here. I think you're going to be surprised at the minimal changes and the minimal difference between the two this is still in integra's luxury line as we get up to 62 miles an hour here um, you know you can feel and you can hear how quiet it is in here very very quiet ride easy to drive easy to handle with only a couple things on the outside to speak of there are just a very very minor amount of things on the inside and the first which i'm going to show you is i'm being over dramatic the seats are both in excellent condition, but if I were to pick on it just a little bit when we get right here, a little bit of wear, this is from going in and out of the coach from your belt, uh, from somebody's belt or clothes rubbing up against this seat. Outside of that, folks, there's really nothing other than maybe, I remember seeing a door with a little bit of uh, wear on it. I'll show you that when we get back, back there. Other than that, this coach is clean, taking a deep breath in it smells amazing in here i want to point out some positives now we've talked about the negatives now you got to understand something that this coach has not been touched by us it is still needs to be cleaned up it is not dirty by any stretch of the imagination it is very very clean coach but i want to take you through if you do see a little bit a little speckle of dirt here or there that's just going to be par for the course we're going to get it detailed once we get a contract on it, we're going to take it through to a full detail stay tuned to the end of the video where i discuss our process what we take the process we take the coach through our process with financing cash deals all that stuff uh, what you should look for and how we operate so pay attention to that windshields even though i have it all closed up integra's windshields are huge i love the fact that they upgraded this to a apple carplay pioneer stereo and yes, you can get the navigation up into the television there. Spartan K2 chassis with the analog dash. Controls over here, the auxiliary brake. I love how they color the auxiliary brake and put it on a toggle switch. 44B, if you're looking at this floor plan, uh, you know that this is the most popular floor plan, the best-selling floor plan. Also, it is still the longest-running floor plan that Integra makes. I love this massive sofa that does convert into a bed. Across from the sofa is going to be a dinette table that does extend out. There are two more chairs in the coach, and I love the lighting in this coach. Look at the, the I don't know if it's a backlit countertop, the Corian. They did a great job. Integra does amazing job with their countertops. Multi-level multi -level countertops, storage in behind there. It's like a computer dinette workstation right next to that massive window. Next to that is going to be a smart television, fireplace, Really, really nice, awesome, huge television, by the way, right across from your sofa. Next to the sofa is going to be your, your galley where this island does pull out. It makes a huge, huge island. Let's check that out. Look at that. I love the fact that this coach was not optioned with a dishwasher, giving you tons more storage than you would find in a normal coach. 
Corian countertops uh, go all the way through with that beautiful tile backsplash. A induction cooktop, folks. This is a propane coach, but it is an aqua hot propane coach. So give me a call if you want to learn more about that. Propane aqua hot is known in mo as most one of the most reliable systems, and you don't have to service the propane aqua hot every year. Turning around here, we're going to get to our residential style refrigerator that's controlled by an inverter while you're driving down the road. We do have some pantry storage there. I do like that Howard Miller clock right there. And the people left their little potholder. Mr. and Mrs. Baker, if you're watching this and you want that potholder back, give me a call. I'll be happy to shoot that in, in the mail to you and get that right out to you. Coming in here, we got a half bath. This is that part I was telling you about. We got a little bit of wear on the edge of the door. My guys will attempt to clean that up the best we can. Coming into our half bath, Integra makes one of the largest half baths in the industry. And again, that same Corian countertops that's backlit flows through. I really like the lighting in this coach. And you can adjust the lighting, the accent lighting in here. If you notice, I'm turning that on and off, but also you can dim that down. So you want that to be real light. All the lighting in this coach is gonna be dimmable as you can see on the Firefly panel right here. Next to me, we're gonna walk into our pantry area. Yes, we have a very good size pantry. And folks, I'm noticing a tiny little bit of wear. My guys have all of the touch-up sticks for the, all these paint colors, cabinet stain colors. So we'll likely get a lot of this touched up. But as we look in this pantry, beautiful pantry with tons and tons of storage. Coming on into the bedroom, some more of that same countertop flows right through. We have a television across from our king size bed. Looks like this customer opted to upgrade to a Brooklyn bedding mattress. It looks to be very comfortable, in excellent shape. I see no stains, anything on it anywhere. Beautiful king size bed with a window on each side of the bed. Briefly going through the bedroom, I do really like Integra how they've done the uh, their pocket doors. They're, they're, they do have a design glass in them. I really like that. Coming on into the rear bathroom, it is a little bit of a step up. Looks like about a six inch step up. We have a single bowl vanity, that same Corian coming all the way through. Triple medicine cabinet. We have a closet in the back. Washer dryer right here. Tecmet power flush toilet and a one piece molded fiberglass surround corner shower. Oh, what you're thinking, what's it like with the slides in going down the road? And personally, I've owned this floor plan before. It works out great. Let me show it to you. Come on. Yeah, here it is, folks. With the slide outs in, tons of room to get through everywhere you need to. You can have people sitting on the sofa still get by them. You can actually use the dinette, watch the television, all that kind of stuff. When you get back here to the galley area, these beautiful countertops uh, that are backlit, sort of. You got plenty of access to all your cabinetry. You can get into your refrigerator. You even gain access to your half bath. Now, it looks like that door is going to hit. Let's see if it hits. Nope. Perfectly opens, full access. Now, you do have to squeeze a little bit into, you know, for me, I'm a pretty big boy. A normal sized person will walk right through there, no problem. But we got full access into our half bath. And then if we close that door, we also have full access to our pantry, to our king size bed that does not have to articulate in order for the slides to come in. Huge plus right there. One thing that separates Integra apart from a lot of the other manufacturers is in the way they build. Something that they do I think is different than a lot of other manufacturers. And even in the Insignia, they were still doing the same process. First and foremost is their slide systems. They use 12 volt electrically driven slide motors to operate all four slide outs. So you're not going to see on the luxury line of Integra, you're not going to see any hydraulic slides or any full wall slides to contend with. So four slides. Now this floor plan does give the feeling of a full wall slide. If you notice all the way to the back bathroom wall, all the way to the front, it kind of does look like it's a full wall slide. And that's like 30 plus feet right there, maybe 32 feet of continuous slide, but they do break it up. We do have two slides on that side of the coach. What, what that does for you is it does make the slides a little bit slower than most, but they're very, very solid. They're easy to work on. If you have an issue with this slide motor, you simply can take a motor off this slide, swap it over, get the slide in, so you can get one ordered and replaced. They're not extremely expensive. They're easy to source and very easy to repair. Most notably in a 
in, a, in an Integra luxury line, you're going to have hydronically heated floors. Let me say that again, hydronically heated floors. And that means that you have PEX tubing running throughout the entire coach. And it's going to use that aqua hot system to heat the floors hydronically. That is some of the best way, the best ways I found to heat a coach in mild temperatures. So this morning here in Kentucky, we had like mid thirties to upper thirties this morning. And I could have heated this coach just off having the aqua hot on and heating my floors that way. Really, really big plus on the way to heat the coach. So it just gives you another way to heat the coach. But also this coach has aqua hot, which gives you the heating zones. As you see down here, it acts as a furnace. But most notably and most important is what makes Integra one of the quietest driving and best handling coaches is A, the Spartan chassis. But B, is the way they build the coach. They actually hand lay all the tile to the walls and that really helps with squeaks and rattles and makes it much, much quieter when you're driving down the road. And if you ever need to replace the tiles, they're certainly easier to pop up, especially when you get around the walls and stuff, it's easier to get that tile up. You're not breaking up a tile underneath of a wall. Now, this coach in particular, I really love the floors in this one. I love the wood look uh, tile. Very solid. I don't see any cracked floor tiles. I don't see any dirty grout. It's all in really, really good shape. One more thing that Integra does. Now, in this floor plan, there's only one door that's a pocket door. And back here, I'll show you, they have a little plunger system that whenever you release the parking brake, it puts a plunger up. And it just helps keeping this door from rattling. That is a very heavy heavy door. There you have it, folks. You see some of the differences. Those are just some of the differences that you see. Integra pretty much exclusively builds. Well, back in these years, they were exclusively building on the Spartan K2 chassis for the Insignia. And again, the Insignia is the entry level to the luxury. So this, if you're comparing this coach to a later model Integra that's not in the luxury line, you need to pay attention because it's not built the same. This is a extremely well-built, very, very solid, solid machine. And the way it's priced, I think you shouldn't wait. Now, let's talk about our process and the way we operate here at Soul Motor Coach. First and foremost, any dealer that you're doing business with, folks, you need to really pay attention to their reviews. The best way to source and tell what a dealer is doing is to check Google. Jump on Google, type in Soul Motor Coach, and see what other folks are saying about us. Anybody that you're doing business with, they're going to tell on whether they're doing good business or bad business. Our process is very simple. We're going to dig into that now. All right, so every coach that we buy, uh, every coach that we trade for goes through three inspections. And this coach was a purchase. Now, this one had the first and sec second inspection done at the time of purchase because this customer uh, actually delivered the coach to us from Texas. They took one last trip in it and they decided with the way we did our deal, we were, they went ahead and brought the coach to me here in, in Kentucky. Now, so we were able to do our first and second inspection right there together. But the third inspection is the most important one. That's what we call a PDI, or other dealers call it a pre-delivery inspection. And that's what we take the most serious. And we, uh, don't get me wrong, we take all of our inspections very serious. But we take the PDI very seriously here at Soul Motor Coach. We go through, service everything that needs to be serviced, check all systems, touch every button, operate every system in the coach, we're going to get on the roof and do a power wash of the roof. Also, we're going to treat the roof with a ZEP floor polish or a UV protectant. We're going to service the engine, the generator. In this case, the aqua hot doesn't get serviced, but if it's got an aqua hot system that needs servicing, we do that. We're going to do a wheels off chassis inspection, check your brakes, make sure all everything is safe for you to operate up and down the road. We're going to service the transmission if it needs it. We're going to check that gearbox. We're going to check all the systems in the coach to make sure when you leave here, you leave with a 100% ready to go coach. Now, can we make one perfect? Absolutely not. Even 22, 23 models are not going to be perfect, folks. They are used motorhomes, and even new ones don't come out perfect from the factory. That's a fact. You know that. We have all the financing that any of the big dealers would have, and we absolutely love trade-ins. We'll take a trade of any kind, but we do prefer and we do focus on Class A uh, luxury type motorhomes. That's our thing. That's what we do. Let's get this coach back over the lot. Let's find Heather and let's dig into the financing on this coach and talk about uh, what we're able to get done on a 2017 term, rates, mileage, down payment, all that kind of stuff. Let's dig into the financing. Let's go find Heather. All right, Heather, say hi to all the YouTube fans. They've always wanted to meet you, Heather. 
Everybody, this is Heather Florian. Uh, she is the world's best entry-level employee. <laughs> no. No, she, Heather's been part of the crew for a long time here. What, 12 years now? Something like that. 12 years here with me. Uh, thank you, Heather, for all your great service. When it comes to motorhomes, me and Heather and Mike and everybody here, we've all learned how to do these. We're, we've been in the car business here 15 years. So when I say 12 years, we've not been, we've not been selling motorhomes here for 12 years. Heather's been here 12 years. I've been in business 15. We just did financing on a 17 Tiffin Allegro Red. Similar to this Insignia, I know you don't see the coach that I'm doing a video on, but I wanted to talk a little bit about financing on this Insignia. What kind of rate and term did we get for the customer on that Allegro Red? The Allegro Red was what, 169? What, yeah, right How much money did they put down? They put down 20%. 20%, yeah. so how, what was that amount for the people who don't know quick math? Well, about 34,000. Okay, 34,000, 30-ish thousand. What was their rate? 7.87. That's a good rate. For a 17 model, folks, that's a shop that rate. We're able to get you the best rates here at Soul Motor Coach. We have all the banks, all the Huntingtons, the big M&T, all the big banks. We have all, the, if the big dealer has a bank, we have the same banks. We form great relationships with these banks. Important to mention, too, yep. that um, we got 180 months. On 180 program. months. Now, what about 240? Can you get... You can get 240. So this customer opted to get a little bit better interest rate when they went with the 180. So what would the 240, and I'm not asking you to, it's not set in stone, but what would the 240 rate look like? Like eight point something? 8 .15, 8 .15. There you go. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. No, she's not a horse. She, she's my horse. I don't have a nickname for Heather yet. We did unlock a new character today, but everybody say hi. Hi, Heather. If you do a deal with us, likely you're going to talk to Heather. She's the one that gets your information sends it around to the banks, folks. We're very experienced at what we do here. We understand these deals. Also, Becky's not here, but one of these days I'm going to get Becky on a video because she's the title clerk, also helps with finance, and eventually we're going to get Mr. Burns on the camera, on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns, Mike and our, like uh, yeah, Mike, uh, we're going to get Mike on the video one time. He's very nervous about that. So thank you all. Uh, hope that helped you make a decision on a coach. Thank you all so much for sticking into the end of this video. This was a fun one for me. In 2020, I bought a brand new Integra Anthem, one of my favorite coaches to this date that I've ever owned. I absolutely love it. Check the website. We got some really cool Integras right now. We got a 16 Anthem. We got the 17 Insignia. We have a 2020 Cornerstone that just came in. Amazing coach, absolutely beautiful shape. I uh, can't wait to get that one on video, pictures, and all that stuff. So get on the website, soulmotorcoach.com. Folks, thank you so much. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like what we're doing. Trying to add a little bit of extra editing and stuff to these videos to make them a little bit better. Have a wonderful and blessed day, and I hope to talk with you soon.